This is our final Losers Quarters match. Our first combatant, the hero of New England, PG in PJs, the god of war, Mars. These, these intros, these titles, this sounds like Game of Thrones. Oh, Ma all done? Mars of House Metroid. <laughs> oh, he's, he's flexing. And Mars, of course, rocking his signature PJs. Yeah. There is no tournament that he does not go with pajama pants. This, He's just all about that. This this is the most Mars. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> bodying everyone at home, bodying the crowd, bodying us zero. Oh, he also entered the ring the right way. He did. <laughs> Everybody doing it wrong, but Mars is like, I know how to do it. Oh, he's, he's jumping on, yeah. the, on the ropes too. He's milking it. Yeah, he knows. He's Ooh. definitely watched. Oh, he's Play milking the crowd. it. Mars, that is true confidence right there. That's the most Mars intro I've ever seen. That was confident, and you know what? When we spoke to him, he definitely said his level of confidence was 10 out of 10. Oh, okay. opponents. We'll see. The Nairo apparently has a yes beard. Movements. N R G Nairo! There he is. Potentially the most popular player in competition. Got the yes, yes, yes. Oh! The absolute reference here. <laughs> there you go. The best reference for wrestling you could ask for. Daniel Bryan, milking it up. Oh, that's why he wanted the beard. I understand. Yeah, that's why he <laughs> wanted the beard. But look at that. Are we going to see him enter the ring the right way? Of course we do. Of course we'll we do. See it. Confident entrance. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> now that is what's up. He's feeling himself. Yeah, is, is he going to wear the Daniel Bryan t-shirt, the set though, or will he take it off? And flex that NRG. Nah, nah, remember, we gotta pay the bills. <laughs> or Shaquille O'Neal does. Either way. Maybe he just likes Daniel Bryan, or maybe Daniel Bryan's not part of NRG. Who, who knows? Maybe he's watching the stream right now. Anything could happen in esports. That's that's all we really truly know. But so, from these two players, one set, I remember I was emceeing Momocon, and we saw Nairo switch between, was it five characters? He did the Zero Suit Ditto. He went Robin, took a game. He went Dark Pit. He went so many characters, and it almost worked out for him. You think that's what he's going to try to do here and sort of just rotate, just make, make sure that Mars can't adapt? Or do you think his game plan might be to stick to one character here? I'm not exactly sure what Nara is going to use, mainly because a Nara thing that you should always know is that not even Nara himself knows what character he's going to use up until five seconds before the set. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a, a matter of how he feels up to, the, up to the match. But I do know one thing for sure is that Nairo has a plan, and we will see it right on the character selection. We can see pretty much anything at this point. He might stick to his usual. He's been sticking mainly to Palatin this, for the majority of this tournament. Yep. We might see something different. You know, I, I hope I, I get to live to see the day where there's a pro in Smash, a super good player who has so many characters, he rolls a D20. To see what character he rolls a dice on stage to see what it was. That would be an amazing flex. Uh, well, that's MK Leo. <laughs> he has 20 characters. <laughs> I, I want to see him roll a dice. That's what I would like to see. Mars, undisputably best Zero Suit Samus player in the world. Potentially, arguably at this point, I would say rank three worldwide. See, and I think I think we got a little bit of a story going on to these two players fighting each other because you know in Smash 4, you know they were the two best. Zero Suit players, you know, and, they, and they're also, you know, the, the friendship is going on strong there. But now in this game, Nairo is not so much of a Zero Suit main, but Mars sticking to that. So I think I think yeah. there's a lot of history here. They played a lot of times. They definitely, you know, hang out a lot. So yeah. Nairo more so the, the Zero Suit Slayer at this point, mm -hmm. given the amount of times he's played this matchup. Some hand warmers. Zero Suit Samus versus Palatina seems to be the matchup we're going to see as both players begin their warm-ups. I... I you know, given the changes from Smash 4 to Ultimate, a lot of people were saying, obviously, that, you know, Zero Suit Samus, you know, had trouble in a lot of things, especially from killing. She no longer has the up air, up air, up B chain that's, you know, that we've so famously seen so many times. But it's amazing the things that Mars finds in this game, especially using that side B, using that blaster, and using any sort of really, really fast aerial super close to the ground. It always impresses me to see him do this. Yeah, I definitely think it's a matter of how characters feel in every game. Like, not every player mains 
you know, the same character in every game because sometimes characters may be just as good, maybe a little worse, maybe a little better, but they may just play completely differently. The different engine and the way they, you know, tweak around characters, it may not be up to your preference anymore. For example, if you main Mario and Melee, you may not necessarily enjoy him in Brawl or maybe Smash 4. Yeah, and there's, there's a lot of... Uh a lot of times where you stick to one character and then you just pray and hope that it's good in the next game and then you just get shafted <laughs> over and over again. Not that I would know anything about that, Zero. I wouldn't know a single thing about that. But what I would know is that we are here alive and only one player left can enter our top five. Nairo versus Mars going into game one. And this is a lot, right? Now. This, this is elimination said. So whoever loses the kids is going home. All righty. The two waifus, duking it out. Town and city once again. Mars is known for his explosive, his explosive openings to matches, running directly with a Nair into a Zare. And this move, oh, what a chain. Yeah, Mars using the downbeat to get out of that sticky situation. All right, slow get up from Mars. I think he's kind of trying to feel out his opponent right here. On the first stock, first set, it's all about downloading. You want to do some pokes here and there. You don't want to do any heavy commits. Kind of like seeing a poker hand before, you know, pre-flop. You want to make Ooh, sure you're the counter on the up beat. Make sure you know what you're getting into first. Both players are just going really hard right now. Like, I saw Mars going for that down and immediately trying to catch the double jump. And now it was absolutely trying to end it with that counter. Wow. Gets the roll, four smash, and that stock. That is why Zero Subscribe is such a high commitment. If you miss that, you might just get smash attack for it. We'll delete him very quick. Mars still very quickly fighting an opening. Is this a kill? Barely living. Palatina now at 105. Narrow snaps to the ledge. And ooh, great read on the roll, but just one frame too early for Mars. Otherwise, we would have had a guaranteed down throw stunner into a kill. All right, two Nairs on shield. I look, I love it. Zare into back air, true chain, and links a high percent. You want your character to have those kind of chains. But yeah, and that's I'd be pulling narrow in just for a jungle right here. Goes for the back throw here so that he can land the neutral here. It's very interesting how Mars uses a lot of Zeus' throws that may not look as good from an outsider perspective, but then he puts the opponent in a bad spot and then he uses the right move to follow up. Goes on to show that even when you don't have true combos up of throws, you can still get a little bit of advantage off of it. Goes for the long range grab there too. Big That's commitment. True. Another Nair from Mars, trying to find the same combo he did earlier. Nairo being a little more aware. Both players dancing underneath this bottom platform. The up B once again will not kill. This is deja vu from the first stock. Incredible DI the first time, but the second time it was a little bit too much damage. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you get up out of shield. <laughs> <laughs> no double jump right there. That is very Ooh. dangerous there. Yeah, that was a little bit concerning. Nearly died. Good forward air right there from Nairo. Trying to force him off the ledge, but he's fine to come to center stage. Goes for back throw here for stage positioning. Up to a certain percentage, uh, Peloton has down throw. Doesn't do very much, only as he DI'd in. So Nairo opted for the back throw. So at least get some type of edge card going on. And he is waiting patiently, opening, waiting for some sort of opening here. He comes down with Nair, and of course, Nair hits multiple times. Great way to see in case your opponent's spot dodging or maybe going up in there. Finds a great kill with a forward air, and right there, Nairo evening it out. Yeah, Mars definitely took a little bit of an aggressive stance there, and Nairo capitalizing that with the fallen back here, covering everything. Okay, a great SDI, I believe, from Nairo, get away with getting out of that up B. And a grab into a fair, but missing it to Nairo to Mars' own neutral air. Yeah, the platform had a little bit too little space, so it looked a little uncomfortable of an angle. You have to air dodge the, the upper there. That upper is extremely dangerous here. Dangerous Ooh. with that down smash zero. Okay. Keeping a distance, this is this is dead even. 70%, one stock each. This is still best of three. It's a super important game, even if it's game one. Yeah, I feel like this is the momentum base right here. Both players definitely enjoy momentum yeah. base play a lot. I can see a 2-0 for either player here. Whiffing a dash tack. Nairo at 101. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Mars definitely looking for at least that down smash or down B very so that he can go for the up B play. Pivot grab. Yeah, watching out for the up and very important here. Gets the Zair into the back air. Guaranteed combo. Mars takes the very first game. Mars with a sigh of relief. Knowing he's that much closer to achieving another run in bracket that we've seen so many times. Meanwhile, Nairo barely losing that first game, knowing it was a coin flip away. Doing his best to stay his mentality in check. 
keeping himself in check, making sure. Now considering the point, characters, yeah. Now at this point, we may see Naro opt for another character. We may see him stick to his gun. Like I said before, we have mostly seen him stick to Palutena, but he does have a lot of characters. He has a Ganondorf too, I heard. Yeah, he we're, does have we're a on the block. <laughs> he does have a Ganondorf, but then he also has a Wolf. He also has a a Robin, but you know what? He has a Palutena, most importantly, running it right back. No switch for Amy. Says, you know what, Mars? You kind of good. First one's a fluke or a back. Same stage, same matchup. I mean, Nara is a very confident player, so I definitely understand the fact that, you know, it wasn't the stage, it wasn't the characters. I just needed one extra hit there, and it would be my win. Yep. Mars is very comfortable here with the grabs. Catching Nara has is running in. Yeah. Definitely in the pre-game interview, Mars did say that he knows a lot of Nara's habits, and he knows how to play against him specifically. Yeah, I think he's waiting for the Nair every single time, just hopping right out of the range, looking for his own punish. Okay, rolling safely away. It's amazing how much Palutena can start off in there. Barely missing the upper off the top. That was dangerous because if you managed to catch a double jump there, uh, double jump there that could have been a very early kill. Goes for the back here for some stage control. It's very interesting to me how Mars will up for fourth throw even during the stage to get the tech chase yeah, rather opts than edge guard. And now Mars is honestly going for as many backers as possible, praying that one lands. Snaps the ledge, comes back on, avoids the nair. And once again, back to neutral. Both these players showing a lot of respect towards one another. They know what they can do with one opening. Mars and trying to find that kill off the level, or at least get us there into the back air. Okay. Oh my goodness. With the dash attack, then Mars with his own upbeat punish. Seriously, getting back to the stage immediately, being yes. able to even punish Palutena for throwing out a projectile. Super quick. Running up smash at 120. Still not going to kill. The next hit will, though. Okay, what's the answer here? Down throw? He was hoping that he would DI in from the down throw, that he could get a backer kill, but Mars ever so wise. Oh my goodness. Zare into up smash, barely missing. And now it looks like Palutena is too high a percent for anything to connect. Mars might need to find a raw kill here. Ooh, the air dodge. This is testy. Good up smash. Yeah, Mars definitely using a lot of empty aerials, not only with forwarder, but also with up smash here. Catching narrow every time he's jumping. Which is really hard here because who gets the down tilt? Into that fair, which will kill, evening it out very quickly. Nara. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a big a big problem here for Nara because Palatina is a very jumpy character. She doesn't enjoy being on the ground very much. Nara is so good at closing out instant stocks. He says, you're not going to get any extra credit on me. Now, once again, dead even. Dash dancing in neutral. Mars trying to open up with some Zairs and some forward airs. You know, one thing I'm noticing a lot is that every time Nara is running on the ground, Mars definitely keeps putting these hitboxes in very specific spots to catch Nara's momentum, either with a forward tilt or a grab. And just like that, Nairo with a great back air to get his own lead here. He wants the game three. Mars needs to understand that Nairo is waiting for any tiny minute mistake in this movement to find these openings. And Nairo very momentum based play. Either he wins really hard or he loses really hard. Great parry right there, but only a down to the punish. No two frame. And now, now with the lead playing a lot more confident here, calling out every single one of Mars' jumps. Nair into Rar back at low percent. The bread and butter. It catches the shield there. The shield was a little bit too weak, catching it up from the uh, upwards angle. Gets the four on the down B. No more down B here. And Mars is just like looking a little flustered here, just trying to even get back onto the stage, but Nairo keeps denying him. Yeah, I mean, you, you give Nairo a little bit of advantage to take the whole stage of everything. All right. 83% here for Nairo, for, for Nairo, but Mars still has a small chance if he can make a crazy chain happen to close it out here 2-0. The last of that side B hits. Upper trades, but Nair comes back down. Oh my goodness. Parry the first hit. The rest of it managed to connect. That might have actually saved him, that single parry. Yeah, that was really tricky there because Nairo fell in and then fastball up there to try to catch Mars with just anything here. And the parry on the down B! That is really risky. That's very hard. <laughs> yeah, very hard too. That is very ambiguous time. It goes out to show that Nairo does know a lot about Zero Zero. Okay, actually finding a fair. So trying many. to catch the jump right here. Right. Ooh, Mars DI'd in on that dash attack. He was Scooped probably trying to jump in and probably angle his jump. He didn't expect dash attack to hit him on the way up, get him bad DI, and get him narrow the, the victory. It always catches you off guard. That dash attack does kill you upwards at relatively low percents. And it comes out very, very quickly.
1-1 once again. We've seen this so many sets so far in this top eight. And now it's a question based upon Mars' stage of, of choice. Will Nairo continue with Palatina or gamble with a counterpick? I definitely feel like it's very likely both players will just stick to their guns. I mean, it is a 1-1 one -one situation. Waiting here patiently. Deciding on the stage. We're going to Battlefield? Might be the case. We're considering it. Uh, we're picking the appropriate song. That is very important. Oh, we're going to Yoshi Story. Oh, that, that in itself is a gamble. Now, this is a stage a lot of professional players do not like. They do not like the slants. They do not like the way the platforms are work in this stage. And they definitely don't like the wall. And not to mention, it's pretty small. Not much room to turn around here, but that's what Mars wants to do. He says, I'll, I'll fight you in close quarters. I have pure comfort. All right. Great read on that air dodge up air, but went a little too high on that sixth up air. Okay, near to come down. Mars feeling very comfortable yeah. with these grabs, using the extra range to call out landing aerials. I could see him going for a lot more grabs, especially on this stage because Nairo has to be close to him. There's definitely a lot of instances where you have to block in close quarters, and this stage is going to provide that. Ooh, down there, yeah. right? I like that one, too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, explosive flame barely missing. And the ledge and the wall jump into up. Is that a kill? My goodness! Is this Smash 4? <laughs> that was so phenomenal to watch. Mars absolutely capitalized on the fact that Nairo had a pilot a little bit with that down tilt and then catching him off guard with the down B. Trying to catch this double jump right here with at least a backer and up for the kill. Nairo yep. pressure in here. Mars with a little bit of shield left. We've seen how quickly Nairo can equalize this to get no extra credit. Mars, Mars did a really high level bait there. He expected Nairo to attack again and then parry that to punish him. A back throw to open up an edge guard. Almost stopped the ledge, but Nairo with a clever down tilt twice there, but can't seem to find the kill. And Nair barely not going to do it. 151 now from Mars at full rage. Can he get an opening here? He does. Two forwarders into an up air. I like this chain. Oh, catch it. Whoa. He, he caught Nairo running away too there. Uh, that's that's going to finish it off. 61. That's a lot more than Nairo bargained for. I definitely feel like Mars keeps catching Nairo as he's running in or outside. Like in all those, uh, in the animation where he he's dashing and he's lagging a little bit, he's definitely catching that consistently. The call out grabs once he shields, gets him getting off the ledge. Confident play from Mars. This might be another kill. It will be now full stock lead for Mars. Will he eliminate NRG Nairo from the tournament? Or will he come back and claw his way up through loser's bracket? Nairo missing the down throw neutrally there. Gets it again, though. All right, oh, now. No, 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 no. Oh, that could oh, be it. Oh, whoa, he had two wall jumps to come back. Very tricky recovery, but effective at the same time. From Mars, gets two uppers before getting Nared coming down. They are going at it, ladies and gentlemen. Nara is known for being clutch. All right. Oh, so many whiff attacks on shield. Missing the grab. Only Na a dash to punish, though. Nairo baiting the, baiting the dash. If you realize how I mentioned before that he's punishing the dashes, then Nairo roll behind him. Ooh, the one jab, just the one jab. So many tiny, minute hitboxes. The space in here is out of control. Inching their way in, Nairo whiffs the grab and a forward smash to Reed. The great DI. Mars with the reaction time to react to that forward smash to barely stay alive. Now at 106, another whiff grab dash attack from Nairo. Back to center stage. Mars getting a little bit stuck there, manages to roll through though. Nara looking for this jump in. I believe that was pivot grab for sure, not four till. That would have been the kill as well. That is not good news for Nara here. Even with the parry, still was not able to find a dash attack. Mars staying alive much longer than expected. Nara trying to get back center stage, using the side beat to get some stage control here. Back throw, maybe. Still alive now at his last legs. Two wall jumps again. Nair into the instant jab. 76 now. Ooh. He's not stopping. The He's... Zeratek chasing here. No air dodge for Nairo. Okay. Oh All my right. goodness. Game three, elimination game. The stock of champions, Zero. Two of the most coveted and decorated players in this tournament. One will get seventh place. Nairo getting stuck on the platforms right here. Finds his way down, though. 
Lars playing so carefully. Nairo showing at 108. He has no fear. Oh. At, this, at this point, they're both trying to fish for a jump in here. Nairo finds the neutral here, misses the tech chase. This is close. He barely whiffed it. Another grab whiff from both players. Soft hit of Nair. Oh my goodness, he read it in the up That might be it. And Mars has eliminated Nairo from CEO 2019 here in Daytona. And yes, that, that really it. intense set though. Yes.